Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at running Invoice Ninja in Docker. To get started, log into the device where we're going to install Docker. First, we'll use apt install to install a few prerequisite packages required to get Docker installed. Then we'll add the Docker GPG key and apt repository. Now we can run apt install to install docker, docker compose, and container d. With the docker packages installed, we'll make sure the docker service is started and enabled, add the current user to the docker group, then re-authenticate the current user for the group changes to take effect. Now we'll create some working directories for our containers to store persistent data. Then we'll use wget to download the nginx configuration file from github. We'll find and replace a few settings in the configuration file, then set ownership of our working directories and set some additional permissions. Now we're ready to use the docker run command to create our MariaDB database backend container. Then we'll start a temporary invoice ninja container to generate an application key. Next, we'll use another docker run command to start the invoice ninja container. Make sure to update the IN user email and IN password variables, as these are used to set the default login for invoice ninja. Copy the application key we generated earlier and paste it as the app key variable in the docker run command. And finally, we'll use a docker run command to start an nginx container to serve the invoice ninja frontend. Open a web browser and navigate to the DNS or IP address of the docker host, colon 8081. Log in using the email and password set in the invoice ninja container variables. On the welcome screen, set a company name and optionally change the available values, then click save. Welcome to Invoice Ninja, running containerized in Docker.